Isolation, day 35, the 22nd of April. I hope everyone's well. I thought I would take a different route today. I have been showing you my manual analysis of my blood sugars and to a certain extent that's fine. I've been adjusting my basal weights over the last three to four weeks. I'm at the stage now where I thought it would be the best idea to actually take a download of the information from the Medtronic CareLink site and analyze it. So what I've done is I've split it into two weeks. From the 23rd of March to the 7th of April, I've got three reports and I thought we'd run through those and then we'd look from the 8th of April to the 22nd of April. So last couple of weeks as well. If we look at this, so 23rd of March, 7th of April, this is the graph of my blood sugars. And you can see, yes, it goes low in the mornings, middle of the day, not too bad. And in the evenings, there's a numerous periods where it's gone low as well. Now, the estimated A1C is 5% and the average blood glucose is 4.9. So you would imagine that those would be relatively close. The only other interesting point on here is total suspends over that period were three hours, 14 minutes, suspended on low 15, 53 minutes and suspended before low two hours 19. The next page shows exactly what I was saying to you before. No experiences of hyperglycemia, which is over nine, but there were 15 hypo, uh, hypoglycemic episodes, which is here, by preceding event time, when the threshold for that is 3.9. So that's quite low, isn't it, really? For some people, that's awfully low. For me, that's, that's that at times, that's not too bad. But you can see here, there are... There are 15 hypo, hypoglycemic episodes. The advice that they give here is consider assessing your patient's basal weight settings, consider assessing overnight basal weights. Well, we've assessed the overnight basal weights. Now what we were looking at was the basal weights at this time of day, between sort of two, three, four, five, or six o'clock at night. A Couple of things stand out. One is average carb intake between 11 and 3 p.m., 16 grams and average carb intake at between 5 and 8 p.m. was 20 grams. Now bear in mind, we've got eight grams here between 6 and 10 a.m. That's clearly two jelly babies. There may be jelly babies included in here as well. On this page, the only factor that we need to take into account is that my daily insulin intake is 32 units. And bear in mind that 81% of that is basal and 19% is bolus. So I'm only actually having six units, which is 19% of my insulin usage. And that is due to the fact that I'm low carb. The last interesting part here is this sheet. You can see there's an awful lot of going lows in the morning, an awful lot. There's, there's oh, clearly there's still a good number of going lows in the evening as well, afternoon and evening, predominantly evening, but, um, but the majority is morning. So now let's look at what's happened in the last two weeks since we've been making those adjustments. You can see, first thing to see on this graph is less lows in the morning and we work quite hard, numerous adjustments to those to those overnight basal weights. That is a, a stark difference. For the fact is I haven't gone too high, I haven't gone too low too often, once, twice, three times. I'm not too unhappy with that. We're still getting periods whereby I'm too low of an evening though. And what I'm putting that down to is the training. You know, it's the it's the running really. There's no other explanation for that apart from well, one, which is that my basal weight isn't quite correct. Estimated A1C is five point three, which is a bit better than five to be honest. Five is too low, and you're you're always skirting with that issue whereby it's it's always going to be on the side of low. Average blood glucose is five point five. Total suspense is less. Two hours fifteen, twenty two minutes in comparison to. three hours 14 so it's an hour less on suspense total suspense 53 minutes total suspense 22 minutes so you can see that there is a stark difference between those and that's a lot better but there is still improvement to be made here now if we go down we had two um, one episode of hyperglycemia and we only had seven episodes of hypoglycemia so we've moved from 15 to 7 within a two week period. Some of you may say that's still a problem 
and I agree with you in many ways, but what I would say is for someone who's low carb, I don't think that's horrendous. I think I can improve on it and I'll try to improve on it and I'll certainly try to improve on it before I start switching uh, transitioning, which I'm hoping should happen in the next seven days. It's still the case that I've got a few problems in, but hypoglycemia, seven times in two weeks i'm not too unhappy with that you can still see here carb intake isn't too bad 12 18 12 grams between 11 and 3 18 grams between 5 and 8 it's interesting it doesn't show after but it doesn't the split is still 80 to 20 percent for the daily insulin intake the basal and the bolus rates that isn't going to change hugely at the moment and if we look at this here can you see there's a lot less lows in the morning, a hell of a lot less lows in the morning. Let's just go back to the other one. A page and a half full of lows in the morning. Now that has changed to this, a handful. There are as many lows in the evening actually, although I have been trying to run a bit more and maybe that's the explanation for the fact that I'm going lower a bit, a bit more often because I am running rather than weight training. Now I had a conversation with Nick who's the diabetic athletic founder. I'll put his Instagram handle below and his website below and Nick will do an Instagram live whereby he will give us some advice on what to do and how to manage your blood sugars over exercising because clearly I'm not getting it quite right. I did feel like I was starting to get control of it, but Nick is in that field. He's a personal trainer. He's owned gyms, run gyms. He's type one diabetic and he's got lots of experience of, experience of managing and of coaching people to manage their blood sugars. So he's a lot more educated than I am in this and he's gonna be giving us some advice. But overall, I don't think, I think that shows you the, the difference some work on the basal rates is doing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my CGM back on tomorrow and what I'm also gonna do is speak to Nick about eradicating these and trying to manage the, the, the blood sugars whilst exercising and hopefully that seven here will reduce further, okay? Have a good day. Um, tomorrow, which is Thursday, is supposed to be a beautiful day. Get out in the sun, enjoy yourselves, and look after yourselves. Goodbye.